as part of the agreement from June 12th when Trump and Kim Jong-un had that big meeting, uh, North Korea said they would return the remains of the soldiers who died during the Korean War. Uh, but that was part of the agreement. Now, today this story comes out, North Korea does not show up for talks on return of the American war dead. And I think this is important because basically there's been all this talk in the mainstream media about North Korea has no intention of denuclearization, uh, they're stalling for time, etc. Uh, and then whenever the issue was pressed in this Pompeo meeting, they were saying, like, you know, they're acting thuggish, etc. So now, while they're saying North Korea doesn't want to hold up its end of the bargain, today, the 12th, North Korea doesn't even show up for a meeting about returning the uh, remains of the dead soldiers. Listen to this. It was expected that representatives of Pyongyang and Washington would meet at Panmunjom today to discuss returning the remains of American soldiers that were killed during the Korean War. But the North did not show up and left the U.S. side waiting all day. Park Ki jun gets us up to speed with the developments. Officials from North Korea were expected to meet today with U.N. officials representing the United States to discuss repatriating the remains of American troops who went missing in action during the Korean War. But it looks like the North stood them up. Returning the remains was something that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un promised to do when he met last month with U.S. President Donald Trump in Singapore. Okay, so returning the remains was something that Kim Jong-un promised to do when they had that meeting. And so, in a sense, this is part of the agreement, the denuclearization agreement, the whole thing that was put together that they signed. Because Trump was saying they put it in there, you know, at the end, and this whole agreement was signed. So, this is, in a sense, them saying we're not even showing up at the meeting to discuss one of the aspects of this agreement we had. And, uh, and you got to wonder behind, you know, at the end of all these, this rhetoric about the talks being regrettable, with the Pompeo talks being regrettable, and they were acting like gangsters and et cetera, how far this is going to be taken. Uh, and, you know, uh, when you look at the pet goat two thing, we were talking about how this, you know, today, tonight, American time, there's going to be a partial solar eclipse uh, that occurs in the southern hemisphere. And we talked about how this is the sun indent, this is uh, to be taken as the moon. And accordingly, uh, you know, tonight into tomorrow is when the moon is blacked out, you know, a dark circle. And that's what you see here uh, in regard to this eclipse. The, the dark circle representing the moon, the indent representing the sun, passes by, it goes up. And why would they have the skeleton? Of course, you know, Baron Samadhi, you know, it makes sense to be taken as Baron Samadhi because a lot of the references in this video have to do with life after death, etc., which Baron Samadhi has to do with. But on, a, on another scale, uh, this Korean issue, which this definitely refers to, skeleton on the 12th if a is pointing to the 12th on his tooth if you will if we take it as such that's that's just analysis I'm giving he's got an L on his tooth and it this looks like an a the shadow of it is being cast here on where the mouth would be uh, the 12th or the L and if you take it as such then on today when the eclipse is occurring as it begins to transition you also have reference to a skeleton and that is uh, would easily be applicable to the remains the you know which would be you know skeletal remains of the uh, soldiers who died in the Korean War and so I thought that was interesting I mean the, the rhetoric is heating up uh, why is this story I've got these stories pulled up um, Okay, President Trump to give Rocket Man CD to Kim. And they're saying he's going to give him a Rocket Man CD. They didn't give it. I have it for him. They didn't give it, but it will be given at a certain period. I actually do. I actually do have a, a little gift for him. 
but you'll find out what that gift is when I give it. And so it says President Trump to give Rocket Man CD to Kim. And remember, he was calling him Rocket Man when all the uh, the war rhetoric was going on. And so now, after this uh, regrettable talk rhetoric, uh, Trump is saying giving a Rocket Man CD. I mean, that's just that's just a a backhanded way to you know bring up the old rhetoric. Uh, President Trump accuses China of hijacking talks with North Korea. I told you, you know, North Korea is the proxy of China. Uh, you know, in the Korean War, China helped North Korea. And it's not a coincidence that when all this stuff is going on, okay, this is a story from today, U.S.-China US -China trade talks said to stall as tariff dispute escalates. So as these tariffs kick in, as more tariffs are scheduled to kick in, they're saying that the U.S. and China aren't talking about it. You know, when in the absence of talks, it's only set to spiral down. <clears throat> and so, as this is going on, the Korean issue is escalating, and Trump is accusing China of hijacking talks with North Korea. Remember, I told you that I showed you that story where Trump is saying China may no longer help with the sanctions on North Korea. But here you have it, you know, Trump accuses China of hijacking talks with North Korea. President Trump suggests China's to blame for North Korea's latest grumblings over denuclearization talks. North Korea accusing the U.S. of harnessing gangster-like methods to end its nuclear program. President Trump undeterred, defending that splashy summit with the country's leader Kim Jong-un, tweeting, I have confidence that Kim Jong-un will honor the contract we signed and even more importantly, our handshake. We agree to the denuclearization of North Korea. China, on the other hand, may be exerting negative pressure on a deal because of our posture on Chinese trade. Hope not. So, you see how the Chinese issue is coming into this. And, uh, you know, not just that, but uh, this story, uh, China warns U.S. against endangering Taiwan Strait peace. Uh, and it's just an ongoing thing. Uh, where, you know, the U.S. keeps acknowledging Taiwan as an independent, independent country, and China's like, no, Taiwan's just a breakaway province that's part of China. It's a one-China policy, etc. And so it, it's just multifaceted, uh, this issue that's going on. So that's all I, I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you didn't see my video yesterday, I was talking about Hurricane uh, Mary and Joseph a little over nine years ago off the East Coast and now in the same place where those two hurricanes met uh, you have Hurricane Chris which means Hurricane quote unquote Christ if you look at the etymology of Chris that's where the name Chris comes from off the East Coast and you know this month talking about uh, the pet goat video being fulfilled that's what it's pointed to July uh, if you haven't seen my video Peg Goat 2 was pointed to July all along. Go watch it. And uh, and I'm telling you, like we're getting a, a really clear understanding of this video. The theme of it, it has to do with that Revelation 12 sign, the alleged fulfillment of it. And uh, and and now we're, we're seeing their plan rolling out. So basically I th I'm thinking we may have, you know, on the day of the partial eclipse, potentially pointing to the 12th, the A... Is this a kickoff event where North Korea is defaulting by not showing up for the talks on part of the agreement made on June 12th? It's not hard to see the stage is set. Uh, so this is the month, according to PEGO2. Uh, that is my analysis. I hope you see the reason why I say that. Um, I look forward to your comments down below. And uh, so, if if this is the A, if A is talking about this, there are other things like on the front of the tank uh, that deal with A. Now the 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 watch dates that I would say to watch are from tonight up until I would say like the 16th. That parameter, and uh, and also I think the the 22nd and the 23rd 
are really key dates that I'm I'm seeing in this video. That's how I'm interpreting it. Uh, and now when it says the 23, I don't know how much of a reference of that is supposed to um, refer back to the September 23rd supposed fulfillment because now I see how heavily that is uh, emphasized in this video. So all of the points where it says 23, perhaps it has some reference to that. Uh, that makes sense. Um, but but we'll see. But like I said before, haven't seen the video where it said it points to July. For example, uh, you know when you go out here, the <laughs> after the classroom, the seventh window, the sixth window here is in front of the July figure. The seventh window here is part of the red room behind. And you know there's, I just went over it. I talked about how after June it always shows something red. You know something to do with red and then Bush points to the June and then points up and looks out the window moving away from June uh, which you know sequentially would be into July uh, and so uh, hope you see what I'm saying I uh, look forward to your comments and um, hoping we can have some live fellowship pretty soon so you guys be watchful and just trust God you know don't have to be afraid we're just passing through